In this video, we are going to learn how to configure the DNet rule for publishing server to the Internet. DNet is stands for Destination Network Address Translation. It is used to translate the destination IP address of the packet. And usually it is used for publishing server to the Internet. Look at this topology. Most of users is deploying the private IP address in the Internet and even the internal server only has a private IP address on it. So if you want to publish these servers to the internet, you may need to deploy the DNet technology. And there are two tabs, IP address translation and port address translation. In IP address translation, only the IP address would be translated. It's a one-to-one -one mapping. In port address translation, the port number will be introduced in this translation procedure so that uh, we can use only one public IP address to publish multiple servers. Let's take a look at the configurations in Houston firewall. Before configuring the DNet rule, we need to create address books. In object A, address entry, click new. First, we need to create address book for the internal servers. Assuming that we have two servers, server 1 for HTTP, the IP address is 192.168.1.2, and server 2, FTP, the IP address is 1 and 2. And then we need to create the uh, address book for the public IP addresses. Assuming that we have only one public IP address here. Now, in policy, DNet, click new. You can see there are lots of different modes, IP mapping, port mapping, and advanced configuration. Let's take a look at the difference between the IP mapping and port mapping. The IP mapping is a one-to-one -one mapping. That means if you have only one public IP address, you could only publish only one server. To the internet. But with port mapping, you can see we could introduce the port translation to the DNet. So, with only one public IP address, we could publish multiple servers back to the file. Let's try IP mapping first. In IP mapping, we want to publish the HTTP server 1, the server 1, the HTTP server to the internet. So the destination IP address would be the public one and the translate to server 1 and then click OK. And now let's try another method, port mapping. We want to publish both the HTTP server and the FTP server to the Internet. But we have only one public IP address. So here we need to choose the destination IP address as the public IP and for the service first in the HTTP server translate to server 1 HTTP and it is uh, 80 and another one pull mapping public IP FTP translate to the FTP server 21 then click OK but we are not finished here we need to create the uh, policy for the DNet rules so in security policy click new for this DNet traffics 
really from outside to inside so the source zone would be untrust the destination zone would be trust and the source address would be any because there are no users from the internet but let's focus on the destination IP address it would be the public IP address of the server not the private one and the service do not use any it's unsecure so specify the services you have enabled in the DNet permit then click OK that's all thank you for watching please visit kb.hillstonenet.com for more details in the document library